Here's the project. It is an F4U Corsair, pre-F4U4 variant, which means that it has a three-blade prop as opposed to a four-blade prop, and these were produced earlier on in the war than the F4U other variants. Um, it took me 70 to 80 hours to complete and is composed of 13 parts in total. I started out by modeling the fuselage and I started by inserting sketches on the top right and front planes. Then I used surface loss and I made the entire fuselage using surface loss. Um, this part around the fuselage, around the canopy, is probably the trickiest part, um, mainly because of the curvature. The plane has movable control surfaces such as the ailerons, elevator, rudder and the propeller. The hardest part about this project was the fuselage, mainly because of the complicated geometry around the cockpit. The wings and the horizontal stabilizer were both made using a NACA 2415 airfoil. The NACA 2415 airfoil is the exact airfoil that would have been used on this plane in real life. The wings are made by lofting the airfoil profile between different reference planes, and I scaled down the airfoil profile between these planes. I did a static simulation using a force equally distributed across the bottom surface of the wing made of 6061 aluminum alloy to simulate the force that it would experience from the lift generated by the wing during flight. I used a rather high force of 100 pounds but the wing did not break. The applied stress reached 46 megapascals at the fixture but did not exceed the 55 megapascal yield strength of the material. It also had a displacement of 0.94 millimeters. 